Oh, camp has zero funds. What? How did Maybe. that happen? Ding. Let's do six dollar. Anything we have to sell? Maybe an item? Oh! Hey! What? No, I'm not doing shaving. Later. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. From too much pole to whiskey, like waves on the bay of Bisky, I began to tumble and roar. I face morning, Arthur. How's it going? Good morning. Good day so far. That's good. Morning, Arthur. Morning, dear. Good morning. Abigail.
Okay, let's go Valentine. Time to meet our Mary. We need to go on hunting, yeah. Actually, hunting. Let's, you know. What can we do is we are near the camp itself. So, let's drop this at our camp. And then let's go. That should do us. Nice food <laughs> yeah. for us. That will be great. Enough to feed the camp twice are you doing over. the right thing by that boy now? I'm looking out for him, same as we all are. He even looks like you, John. Okay, then. Thank you. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I've come up with some ideas for ways we... Look. Appreciate it, Pearson. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. Oh man, every time. 
Changing gun has to be, you know, something easy. I don't know how to change. Dang. Every time. Yeah. Oh no no no! My health horse. Sorry, girl. I cannot give it from here. That's better. Yeah, our health is also low. Damn it. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. 
Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Let's go, cool, girl. Got a no strangers policy here now. Get lost. This what you want? Take this. Ah! A full of holes, jackass. Ah! Ah!
Well, that was something. <laughs> okay. Man, picking up stuff is sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it pops up, sometimes it doesn't. It's really hard. See, now we see it's there. Oh, I can't carry one of them. Oh. Okay. to have some backup Well, let's wait a while. This is kind of ASMR.
Yeah, you're okay, girl. Okay, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of road to spare. Oh, suggest you girl. use it. Oh. Will you wait a second? No way I'm stopping for you. Yep. I was only messing, partner. I mean it. Stop right now. You got a real problem, don't you? Okay, look, I'm done now, I promise. Come on, girl. Just in time. Oh, you're a good man. A good man.
Yeah. and rediscovery of theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago, the great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahasi into the wilderness to found a great place of safety. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 <clears throat> Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? <sighs> I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles! Um... <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! Then... Make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Come on! Jamie, your sister's worried about you! This is none of your damn business! Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! Damn it, we gotta do this 
the hard way. I don't have to answer to you. Just stop and let's talk about this. I was doing just fine by myself. Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Damn, that was close. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Are we going the right way? Yeah, what are you shooting at now? Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of...
carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Yeah. Don't be causing make it quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Well... Surely got his heart broken. Uh, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more. Like and share, share and subscribe to the channel. Helps the channel grow. Stay tuned.